Good morning. My name is Michael Sadowitz. I am a magician, or as my old roommate liked to call it, a klepto with a good heart. <laughs> I figured um, I don't claim to have any supernatural powers. I just happen to be very good at looking beyond. And since that's what we're here to talk about today, I figured what better way to open up a show about skepticism and critical thinking than with a little experiment using memory. Raise your hand if you can remember a specific moment when you were staring at an object intently. You got it? You have, you have, a, you have an, a memory? Come on up. Uh, uh, tell everyone your name nice and loud. I'm Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh, Take the mic, Elizabeth. Round of applause for Elizabeth. It's scary to get on stage, so thank you. Of course. Um, first of all, before you arrived today, did you know I existed? No, I did not. Okay. Well, I knew you did. Oh, cool. Uh, I want to, where, where are you from? Uh, I'm first from Oneana, New York. Oneana, New York. Mm -hmm. When we first meet people, we ask them where they're from. Oneana, New York. Did you travel around? Do you still live there? Yes, I do. Okay, so you travel around a little bit in your little neighborhood. You were born there. You stay there a little bit. You venture out. You come here, right? You probably took the train or bus or something. You got here. You traveled all the way here. You came in through the door. You sat down. You were watching, and then I call you up, you walk up, and here you are, right? So physically, you're right here. But a moment ago, you were right there. And a moment ago, you were right there, and then all the way back to there, and down the aisle, all the way out, all the way back to Oneana, New York. When I meet people, I try to see that whole path, that whole journey behind them, almost like a tube of you throughout the world. And... To you, it probably just looks like a first-person video, if you could think of it like that. So right now, what I'm going to ask you to do is kind of rewind that first-person video to that moment when you were staring at that object intently. Can you do that? Yes. Or you're doing it right now? Yeah. I'm going to try to look through. While well, I'm seeing it right now, I feel like I'm in a room. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And. Uh, <laughs> And there's a table with a lot of objects on it, and there's one that you're looking at in particular. And um, you picked it up, and it looks like a gold object. Is that right? Yes. And um, it's got some weight. It feels like a piece of jewelry. Yes. <laughs> and um, it's a little fuzzy, but can you, do you remember the, the brand? Yes, I do. Is this a Movado watch? It is a Movado watch. <laughs> oh wow. I, hold on. This it feels this is very important. <laughs> does this watch belong to somebody? Yes, it does. Is this? But they don't have it anymore. Nope. Is this Monica's missing watch? Uh, Thank you so much. <laughs> Round of applause for Elizabeth, everybody. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, we're going to make her sit down now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She got to sit down now. She got to sit down. She's a little lightheaded. Uh, I, I know. It's crazy. It is very powerful. I it don't really know what just happened, but go ahead. It almost looks like I just read Elizabeth's mind. But in a moment, you're going to realize that I didn't read her mind. That if you looked beyond the showmanship, you would realize that it was just an illusion. Because in a moment, it's going to look like I knew exactly what she would think of before she thought of it. Where's Trisha? Here I am. Trisha, come on up. Round of applause for Trisha. This is the executive producer of TEDx Lincoln Square coming to the stage now. Trisha. Hello, everybody. Trisha is one of the producers. She's the reason we're all here. And a few months ago, uh, well, I think around a month ago, I gave Trisha a prediction. Uh, Trisha, when did you receive this prediction? This is what he handed me. I have no, I, I don't remember when. However, 
I think we have proof that he handed this to me in the past. Proof. <laughs> Today is February 19th, and I am sitting with the incredible Michael Sadowitz, and he is about to hand me an envelope that will not be opened until March 27th at the TEDx Lincoln Square event. I could be wrong, but I hope not, considering how much effort I spent securing this prediction. Um, so, Trisha, this is for you. Thank you very much. Promise you're not going to open it until the night of the, the day of the event? I absolutely promise. All right. It's in your hands. Trisha, did you open it? I did not, but I was terrified I would lose it almost every day. <laughs> and I know she didn't open it, because if she did, she would be shocked right now. Trisha, for the first time, open that envelope and just take a peek at what's inside. Careful. It may be valuable. Do you want to tell everyone what you see? You can pull it out. What uh, just happened? Hey, this is a beautiful watch. My, can, I'm shaking. Can you? I know you're shaking, but could you come back here for a second? <laughs> He's been in your house, honey. Run. Uh, Elizabeth, can you just confirm? Is this Monica's missing watch? Yes. <laughs> and and for a second, can you can you just rewind? I know it's hard, but can for a moment take all of your attention. Okay. Focus and just rewind your memory to that moment when you were staring at the watch. Do you remember what time it said in your memory when you were looking at the watch? What time was it? It was 7 p.m. And what time does it say on the watch? 7 p.m. Wow, thank you, Elizabeth. You can keep that. I don't want anything to do with that watch anymore. I don't know if I do. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, thank you, Trisha. Thank, thank you, Elizabeth. Mike. Thank you, guys. You've been an incredible audience. Enjoy the rest of the show.